Okay, so let's take a look at this simple money math problem. It does not seem to be too difficult, but actually there's a couple of things here that can really throw people. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and take a look at the problem. We have $18 minus $30 in parentheses. Now, actually, I am redoing this problem. I did a video the other day on this actual problem, and I did not like uh, my answer, okay, because a lot of people were confused with my answer, and I missed a major thing here, okay? Now, of course, I want to tell you what that is in just one second, but first, I'm going to give you an opportunity to solve this problem without using a calculator. All right, so once again, we have $18 minus $30 in parentheses, and I am kind of emphasizing these parentheses, but uh, we do have a multiple choice question here, and let's take a look at our answers. So A is $12, B is negative $12, C is $48, and D is negative $48. All right, so if you have the answer, go ahead and put that into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer in just one second. Then, of course, I'm going to walk through exactly what's going on in this uh, particular problem, and I'm going to highlight what I missed. Now, what I missed, um, a lot of you could have missed, but uh, you'll see what I'm talking about. I think it's going to be a great learning experience for a lot of us. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help learning math, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. All right, so here we go. We got $18 minus $30 in parentheses. What is the answer? Well, let me go ahead and show it to you right now. So this is the answer that I had in my previous videos. Now, this particular answer, you know, someone could say, well, I like that answer. This is the answer I got. Well, actually, this is not the best answer. But if you got B, that, well, you know, I'm going to go ahead and give you some credit here because you may not know something about accounting, all right, or basic finance. Actually, the better answer, in my opinion now, just on some reflection, is $48, right? So why is that? Well, it has something to do with these parentheses. And if you don't know a thing or two about accounting or basic finance, you know, you could interpret this problem incorrectly. So let's go to get into it right now. So uh, those of you out there that uh, posted into the comment section and were confused about the parentheses, I thank you uh, very much because you made a fantastic point. Now, when I uh, do these problems, I kind of type them up and whatnot. I put parentheses around the 30 just to kind of um, really highlight that we're subtracting a positive uh, where we have a positive number and we're going to subtract another positive number. But really uh, what I should have done is kind of drop these parentheses. But now after, you know, uh, reflection and taking a look at the error that I made, this is a great problem with the parentheses. OK, so what is going on here? Well, first of all, let me just go ahead and uh, uh, state that if we had this, not this problem, we just kind of dropped the dollars and we had 18 minus 30. 30. Okay, if this was the question, well, the correct answer would be B. Okay, not negative $12, but just negative 12, right? So this is equal to negative 12. So uh, just not to cause any more confusion. But here, a lot of people may not know that these parentheses mean something in accounting. And it's really important. Matter of fact, uh, it's something that I kind of really didn't even think about when I was doing this problem. And of course, I'm going to talk about it right now. Now, in my previous videos, I went from here, $18 to $30, but I kind of dropped the parentheses. Okay, I went from here to here, and I shouldn't, I should not, uh, should not have done that. Okay, because these parentheses are absolutely critical. So what I did was I went from 18 minus $30. Now I'm going to get back to these parentheses here in just one second. But if this was our problem, we have 18 minus $30. The correct way we can um, write this, or another way we can write this, is $18 minus $30, all right? So this problem right here, this is, a, um, this is equivalent to this, or I guess that's what I'm trying to say. But actually, 
Uh, the problem itself, these parentheses, really mean something very important, and everybody who reads any sort of financial statements needs to understand this. Okay, so uh, before I get to those parentheses, though, let's just go ahead and finish out this problem here. So we have 18 minus 30, of course, we know the answer is negative 12. But just a quick review of subtracting a positive and negative numbers. Now, again, I'll get back to these parentheses in just one second. So if we have $5 and we subtract away $4, well, what we're uh, doing here, this subtraction sign, we want to think of as a uh, plus negative. So let me just kind of write this here, 5 minus 4. When we're adding and subtracting uh, numbers, okay, positive, negative numbers, and you're dealing with a subtraction situation, one of the things that you want to do is take that subtraction operator and make it into a plus sign. So instead of 5 minus 4, a great way to kind of really be clear on what's going on here is to take that subtraction operator, turn it into a plus sign, and put a negative sign in front of the four, okay, in front of the number to the right of the subtraction operator. Now we call this plus negative. So instead of five minus four, we can have five plus negative four. All right, so here, um, our positive number is greater than our negative number. And when you have a positive value, it's like you um, have money, okay? Negative values, is debt you owe money so if, if you have five dollars and you owe someone four dollars well how much money do you have well you have a positive one dollar okay all right so hopefully that makes sense but uh, let's go ahead and take a look at this next example four minus five dollars or four dollars minus five dollars so we can write this as four or four dollars plus a negative five dollars so if you have four dollars but you owe someone five dollars well, you can give them all your $4, but now you owe them $1, okay? So your uh, financial situation is $1 in debt. So negative money uh, is debt, all right? It's like a bill that you owe. All right, so just a quick review of positive and negative numbers. And now the reason why I'm redoing this video, and it is a fantastic reason. And uh, this is only kind of uh, taught, well, I don't want to say it's uh, not taught in some math courses, but really unless you have some basic financial knowledge or accounting knowledge, you need to know that these parentheses, okay, around a number in accounting, this means a negative value, okay? So really, uh, this question could be interpreted as $18 minus a minus $30, okay? So that's what this really means, these parentheses. Now, I don't want to put parentheses around a negative 30 because that would be a negative of negative 30, but this means $30 in debt, all right? And a lot of you picked up on that, and that is fantastic. That is an excellent uh, observation because in financial statements, when you see um, numbers, and we're talking about dollars here, when they're in parentheses, that does, that does mean that they are negative. All right, so what does that mean? Well, it means that instead of thinking of our problem this way, $18 minus a $30, really what we want to do is think of this as $18 minus a negative $30, right? So instead of it, uh, the problem being 18 minus 30, really what it is, it's $18 minus a negative 30. Now, I don't want to use parentheses uh, here because a lot of people are going to get confused. Well, I'm saying negative of a negative. But when you're dealing with just numbers, all right, let's get rid of the dollar bills here for a second. If I had $18 or 18, excuse me, minus a negative 30, I would put uh, that negative 30 in parentheses. Okay, so this is correct from just a pure mathematics uh, standpoint. You don't want to write this as 18 minus a minus 30. You're not going to see it this way. You're going to see this number in parentheses. And I think that's where uh, a lot of people got confused. And a matter of fact, I even kind of confused myself because I totally forgot that I am dealing with dollar bills here. And uh, I think this is a great little learning uh, experience, not just for myself, but you know, a lot of you out there that may not uh, been aware that parentheses, when we're talking about money, means negative money. But from a, a pure uh, math standpoint, 18 minus minus 30, you want to use the parentheses. So a minus a minus or a minus sign in front of another negative sign from a mathematic standpoint, a negative, usually uh, a good way to think about this, it means the word opposite. So what's the opposite of a negative? Well, opposite of a negative is a positive. So 18 minus minus 30 is the same thing as 18 plus 30, which of course is 48. 
but if I have a dollar sign in here, right, and I got parentheses around this negative, well, this is going to confuse people because now we have a negative of a negative of a negative, so we have to be very careful. All right, so hopefully this makes sense. You gotta be very careful here with notation, uh, and obviously uh, money and accounting and finance, you know, it all goes hand in hand. So here, this is a fantastic little problem. Actually, I didn't, I guess I got a little bit lucky here, well, you know, in retrospect, that I'm glad that I made this mistake because here, we wanna think of this again as $18 minus this right here, we wanna think of as $18 minus a $30, right? or $18 minus $30 like this, okay? All right, so hopefully this makes sense. And if you found this interesting, don't forget to like and subscribe. One thing that um, I try to do on my channel, and I t uh, post a ton of content, and uh, I'm definitely a uh, human, so sometimes a little mistake or whatnot can get past me. I try to uh, correct any little uh, thing. But this particular one just really stood out. I'm like, oh, yes, boy, you know, I am talking about money. We should actually, you know, be talking about some basic uh, accounting notation. So for those of you that did comment on uh, that previous video, thank you so much. But I did take it down just because I didn't want it out there uh, and having uh, people kind of confused. But anyways, I do need your support to continue to grow my channel. So please consider hitting that subscribe button and that notification bell as well. And if you need help with just uh, basic positive and negative numbers or just basic mathematics, check out a couple courses. I'm going to leave links to those in uh, the description of this video. Those would be my Math Foundations course or my Math Skills Rebuilder course. All right. So with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.